Um, the first one is my nieces and nephews and godchildren. And I think because they expect so much of me and they push me to be the best and I'm trying to make sure that I do my best so that they can live in a world where they too can do their best. Um, other sources of inspiration are you know, people who have made it against all odds. Um, people in positions of influence and power and ordinary people. I grew up in a simple township in Soweto and I saw how men and women in those in that street of ours did their best with nothing, and, and that has been an inspiration um, in that. Uh, when you have fewer role models in power, you don't know what you're aspiring to. You always look at simple people who are doing it in simple ways. So those, those, are, those are my inspir inspirators, and, and people give me hope. Um, one is to visualize moments when I was at my hippiest and best um, so that I don't just think about it but I feel it um, and I always tell myself this too shall pass uh, but one thing that I do um, is to run um, because those just run into exercise feel like I'm running away from my problems but that's just moment but coming back um, to, to there um, and just having Moments and with people who just don't expect too much from me. <laughs> that helps a lot. Yeah. It's okay to be different. It's okay to just follow your own beat. Um, things will work out. Stop putting pressure on yourself.